Hello and welcome to the Scholarly Communications video series from the Himmelfarb Library. My name is Ann Linton and I'm the director of the Himmelfarb Health Sciences Library. Today we will be briefly talking about compliance with NIH data policies. Our videos are all publicly available and licensed under a CC by NCSA Creative Commons license. Although some resources discussed in this series are only available to faculty, staff, and students with access to Himmelfarb Library resources. Let's get started. This brief tutorial on compliance with NIH data policies is designed to introduce you to NIH policies and provide you with an overview of their impact on the research life cycle. Generally, NIH data policies apply across the entire research life cycle from the inception of a project and its subsequent grant application to long-term availability of the data generated by the project. Let's look at each step individually. You haven't done any research yet, let alone generated data at the submission phase. Nonetheless, NIH wants to see a clear data management and sharing plan for your proposed research project. How will you collect, store, manage, and analyze the data for your proposed research? Beginning January 25th, 2023, you will be expected to be in compliance with a final NIH policy for data management and sharing, the DMS policy. To be in compliance, you need to begin to think and act prospectively about data. GW has a tool to help you prepare a data management plan and a research guide to walk you through the process. You will also be required to register your trial on clinicaltrials.gov within 21 days of enrolling your first participant. In order to share or reuse research data, it should be collected and stored according to FAIR principles. That is, the data in a data set must be findable, accessible, interoperable, and reusable. These concepts are fully described on the FAIR website. The NIH Data Sharing Policy Implementation Guidance from November 2020 outlines the need for proper documentation of data, including the provision of information about the methodology and procedures used to collect the data, details about codes, definitions of variables, variable field locations, and variable frequencies. In anticipation of the 2023 deadline, NIH-funded researchers should be ready to prospectively submit a plan outlining how scientific data from their research will be managed and shared. Note that not all data will be suitable for sharing and that some data will only be shared under a data use agreement. Guidance for GW researchers on data use agreements is available. Whatever the case, you need to think about data documentation from the earliest stages of your research planning. Once data has been collected, you need to think about how it will be reported. For tr study trials involving U.S. Food and Drug Administration regulated drug, biological, and device products, study population characteristics, and summary results data must be deposited in the clinicaltrials.gov database no later than 12 months after study completion. According to the NIH Public Access Policy, the principal investigator or their delegate is required to deposit the full text of all journal articles arising from NIH funded research studies into the PubMed Central Database. The Himmelfarb Research Guide, open access to publicly funded journal articles and research data can help you meet those requirements. Beginning in January, 2023, the NIH will require researchers to prospectively plan for how scientific data will be preserved and shared through submission of a data management and sharing plan. If you are planning to publish in one of the 1,000 member journals of the ICJME, you are already required to submit a data sharing statement with the following components. Whether individual de-identified whether individual de participant data will be shared, what per data in particular will be shared, whether additional related documents will be available, when the data will become available and for how long, by what access criteria data will be shared. 
There are a number of repositories where you can easily deposit data sets. Himmelfarb's, da Himmelfarb's Data Management Guide provides resources for deciding where to deposit data. NIH does not endorse any sites, but provides links to well-known sites for you to review. Reread. There are a number of repositories where you can easily deposit data sets. Himmelfarb's Data Management Guide provides resources for deciding where to deposit data. NIH does not endorse any sites, but provides links to well-known sites for you to review. Thank you for watching this brief overview of the NIH data policies. Please contact Thomas Harrod, Research Support Librarian, for questions about this topic at the email on the screen. Links to most of the tools mentioned in this video are listed on the following slides.